Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the Teak Yarns here in Elk Grove, California. So excited to be here on this beautiful, crisp Friday. It is windy, windy, windy. Um, what is it? March in... Comes in like a lion, lion. out like a lamb. No, seriously. Maybe so, but I hope so, because my God, yeah. it's uh, the coffee shops really working hard to improve like the outdoor area and they put in lights right but they didn't do the wires they have the stringed lights and I said oh that's a little baptism by fire and she's like yeah we got to put the wires in because it yeah. just whips it around but uh so exciting so happy to be here we have so much uh really fun products to show you today everything is fresh from the trade show. So I just want to say this. On some of them, there's very limited. One of the things, there's six. Some there's two, some there's three. Uh, very limited amounts, but so fun, fun, fun. Last night, my all skills class, we had a party. We have a grandma party um, in that class. So if you're a first time grandma, we do a party to celebrate you with books for your house and stuff like that. And they got, um, they purchased some of the new things, not all of them. There's plenty left for you, but so exciting. I found a new project, thank you, Pam. And I wanna see, maybe someone else wants to knit this with me. I think it's so cute, Susan. This could actually almost do it for you. Now, it's interesting the designer's name is just like another brand that we love, but they have the in front of it, which mm. I was like, oh, that's very interesting marketing. But here's the sweater. It's called, it's from The Petite Knitter. Ew. Which I thought, that's kind of strange. But I'm gonna show you guys, because I already picked out my yarn. I love all the color work. I mean, how cute is that? Okay, this is it. Oh, that is cute. I thought maybe, okay. They don't open? They don't open, let's just go to here. We'll open it on Ravelry. So it's the Petite Knitter. It's, here's the nice thing, it's out of sport weight. So, Art Yarns. Yeah. Merino Cloud would work. Cosette would work. Uh, you could strand something together with a mohair. That would work. 22 stitches over four inches. I haven't gauged, but I can just say right now, I don't. I think I would have to use a six to get 22. Mm. What would you do for 22? Six or seven. I honestly don't know. I don't. I, know. I don't swatch with merino cloud because I just do shawls. I don't really want to swatch, fingering. but I'm going to. Yeah, fingering, I could get 24 on a six. But. I'm going to get, I'm going to put fingering together. I don't know if I have it, but I went through my, um, I did a little stash diving for one of the things. So I'm going to, I'll show you guys. I'm going to cast on ahead of time. Um, but I think it's so cute. So if anyone wants to work on, look at how this, how cute that is. I'm doing chartreuse. Of course. I'm gonna cast on with the pink. Okay. Chartreuse and hot pink, but a couple of the flowers will be beaded silk in sequins. Ooh. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do that because you can't really do intarsia in the round. It's intarsia, it's not fair isle? It is, but if one of these oh, is gonna be the, oh. correct. So then I'm like, Maybe Ooh, wow. I'll do, you know what I mean? Maybe wow. these two will be in the beaded silk, which yeah. would make it a little bit easier. The whole round? I took, um, yes, I took the whole round of flowers instead yeah. of just one. Right. But I do think I want, um, I don't know. You'll I just think it it's so pretty. But if anyone wants to do it with me, I love it. It's short sleeves. Mine isn't going to be this long because i that's a weird length to me. Um, they're short. They're long. <laughs> it's the length I'm wearing today. <laughs> I know. It, for me, it makes me look because I have short arms. Okay, yeah. So then it just makes them look even shorter. Isn't that? How cute it's is really that? really pretty. So I'll post the details or Susan will post the details. Anyone who wants to knit it with me together, no problem because I am going to be... Um, 
I'll bring it on the trip, which that's a nightmare project on the trip because literally it's like I'm stranding a mohair with a fingering. What are you thinking? I want to be difficult. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. So that's what I'm going to work on. I'm also taking two projects. I'm going to do the Saturday Shrug, which is just airplane knitting, knit one, pearl one. Um, so in pink. So I want to wear that too. So. Right. that's my latest I would show you guys but apparently I left it in the back I thought I was so nice to show them um, everything do you want to do a peek out the window and show them what they're doing at the coffee shop how cute it is and their sign see their cute little sign there and they've got their tables and if we look over here they've got some lights put up there's tables uh, right there. And I think they're going to have some out on the other side of these plants. Very fun. Yeah, so people, they're going to have outside tables kind of spread underneath, even in that one section. Cute, cute, cute. All right. Well, that's what we're working on today. Excitement, excitement. Talk about the monthly prize valued at more than $170. We're going to be giving it away on, I think it's Tuesday the 2nd. Yes. Uh, but I'm just going to go briefly around it. We have amazing rhinestone um, cheaters. Stay tuned. I did bring some back from the trade show. Our stitch stoppers. Woo! For those of you who are part of the stitch stopper subscription it's gonna be it may go out tomorrow i'm like could we do it i think we could I think do we it could, yeah um and for those of you who did not join but still want to join we still have a few spots available are my multi-stranded magnetic bracelet there is a kit for one of my favorite hats um i love it it is french angora whispery hat kit it comes with three different patterns a cowl a fingerless glove and a hat you can choose which one you want to do we have our amazing class supply tin that has everything that you need when you're traveling or go to classes or anything like that. We have the McCreary's Salted Caramels as well as many other flavors and the crossbody bag that also has a wristlet strap. Susan, how can they enter to win these prizes? Every time you make a purchase, whether it's online, in the store, or over the phone, every transaction gets you one entry. So the more you purchase, the more entries you get. Yeah, I think that was everything. Yeah, I think so. Whether it's, yeah, everywhere yeah. you do it, we're good to go. I was going to say the camera's a smidge crooked today. Sorry, folks. It would cause a major earthquake for me to try and fix it. It is. Do you, want to, do you want to bring it my way and I'll do it? Uh, I don't, uh, we can try. Okay, hold on. Because it needs to go. Wait, wait, let me. Which way does it need to go? It hold needs, on. It, it just needs. I think it needs to. See if that oh, wait, it. no. No. This top part needs to be done. Let's Maybe that. See. Is that better? Good enough. For our daily prize, this is one of the patterns that I was talking to Juan about, and it looks like peacock feathers. So whenever that happens, I put them on as one of the designers. I love this. It is really pretty. You really want to use a solid yarn. This is bulky. We have enough in this one skein to do the small version, which is six by 25. Um, knit up on a 15 needle. You could do a 13 needle if you wanted a little bit more dense. Our patterns uh, come with a chart and the written instructions to make it nice and easy for you, depending on what size you're doing, 97 to 291 yards. Uh, the skein we're giving away, this was from um, Betsy, our rep. This is a wool acrylic blend but I love that it's the peacock color so mm -hmm. pretty hello hello everyone all right oh Eileen says it's better excellent okay hi Mary from Michigan so excited to have you here Kathy it's the Friday yes camera yes it is 
All right, so how you get entered into the daily prize. Every time you react to the video, you're gonna get one entry for every reaction. So if you see something that you love, just give us a shout out. When you post a comment, I love all the comments we get because it makes it so much more engaging for us. You're gonna get five entries for that. And hi, Sharon, happy Friday. If you share to your story or share to your feed, Let's see, I'm gonna write, there we go. We'll make that easy. Boop. I'm gonna have to post right in here, share to my stories, share to my friends. Mary the Whispery Hut, so easy to do. Eileen, I love No Meat Friday because the fish and chips place in Old Elk Grove is amazing. Their tartar sauce, I'm just gonna say. I've never been there. Oh, do you like fish and chips? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna blow your mind. Okay. But don't get it to go. You're gonna sit there and eat it. Oh. Because it's hot. Oh, it's really good. I have to good. go with someone besides my family then. Hi, Teresa. Oh, your family doesn't want to oh, hang out? God. Well, no, they wouldn't eat fish and chips. Okay, well, I'll go with you. Okay. Maybe when Teresa's here, we'll all go together. Oh, that'd be fun. Teresa, so excited. Okay. Let's see who's going to be the winner. Based off of yesterday's. I keep forgetting they changed the way that this looks. Oh, oh Sharon. Sharon Peterson. Uh, Sharon Peterson, make sure you look in your email and it'll be exciting for you. Um, you'll have a surprise there too. Sharon local-ish? She, she's local-ish. She can drive okay, up. Okay, so you should come visit us. That would be most awesome. When you do, let us know you have a prize. Most awesome. I know. Most awesomeness. Most awesome. So let us know you have a prize. We will get it from the cabinet. If you find out you cannot make it in person, next time you make a purchase, let us know in the notes you have a prize, and we will include it in your pretty pink package. Quick view here of some of our Lagoon Mirage kits that we put together. A little hard to see the beaded silk and sequins down there, but there it is, bright pink. It's a good coordinating color. That one's got the black with the silver beads. Rainbow Mountain with that gorgeous teal. And the blue of our sample. Yep, there's the beaded silk and sequins in the Mirage colorway. Sharon Peterson's birthday was yesterday. Oh, fantastic. Right. There is the finished cowl. I know several of you are working on this, and I know somebody said they finished theirs yesterday. Love it. Very exciting. And we have a few more kits if you want to talk about them while I, I go. I just did. These ones. Oh, these. Yes, these are these we have not managed to get packaged up yet. But they are waiting in order so we can get them ready. And this go. one is $3.98 with this gorgeous vermilion pink. We even bought oh. a gizmo. Yeah, we bought a gizmo that'll count yardage for us. Our $3.48 with what, what color are you? 71022. Just love how those two go together. Some gorgeous chartreuse beaded silk and sequins with purple. I love this one. Good morning, Maggie. Yeah, we got gold with uh, Northern Lights and Viva Magenta with a nice light pink. And if you are looking to see where those are, I think Susan can post the link because it's under saved. Ooh, let me look at us. Let me try. Uh, where is it? I have to read sideways because of the way this goes. But this includes everything that you need. Just add needles. Fast, fun, one or two night knits. Very, very easy. I can't find that one. Let me see if I can find it. To make it easy. Hi, Devin. Kathy likes the purple and green. I am right there with you. That one is gorgeous. Um, I think if I look up Mirage, it'll pop up. Oh, here we go. So there if you is. put in Mirage, you'll see a picture of me. And control copy. Let's drop it in for those people who are interested. 
Oh my goodness, it's a little, it can, I feel like because it's windy, something happens with the internet. It does, it always goes weird when we have weird weather. even this, oh goodness. I just wanna post it. I can't even see. You see? Oh, there we go. Good God. There we go. All right. So I want to see. I want someone to do this one because this yeah, is I know. my color. It's so gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. No yarn today, but amazing fun things. We're gonna start off with something that I was so excited about. I am a product of the '80s. And this was so hot in high school and they have taken something that was super popular and just made it even more razzle dazzle. And when I saw it at the trade show, I was like, we need these. Who remembers jelly totes in high school? You don't? I don't. Maybe it wasn't a Fresno thing. Who knows? This is a retro jelly tote. I think it's fantastic for your projects. We are gonna be shipping these. Natalie remembers them. I love this one because I like the print. I like that it's taller. I think it's not only great for your knitting projects when you have to like go to the gym, go to the beach, you wanna go and just do a little bit of shopping. There is this gorgeous, it's really like a wedding ring um, quilt pattern. The sides are rectangles, but the best thing about it, look at this handle. You just go like this. That's so awesome. So it doesn't hurt your hands when you're schlepping your things around. Teresa remembers she would weave ribbon in them. Oh my gosh. I think it's the cutest idea for an Easter basket for um, even your bigger kids, like you do this, and my big kids, I normally buy them a few little things, not really a ton of candy, but I love this idea. Very easy to take care of. Um, the company is designed in, I think it's Denmark, made in Thailand. Mm -hmm. The sweetest couple, I mean, they do the shoes and all that too, but I'm like, okay, I'm not doing shoes. This is called the Atomic Tote. Uh, it is in black right now, under $35, which is amazing. And yes, we are shipping them because we have big enough bags to put them in. Let me do the link to make it easy. And we have quite a few colors to make it really fun for you. We do have a lavender one, Eileen. All right, so we have black. Just, we know black is very sophisticated. If you're, you know, wanna be a little bougie, you get the black. We have my favorite color, pink. Again, now this is more like a neon pink, not a exact Danielle pink. But again, the handle's built in, so all you have to do is slide it in and it goes in perfectly. It has a flat bottom traveling lots in my class last night they all got them for their car just to yeah. put in the passenger side so they're putting things in traveling in and out this uh i'll tell you the color of this one i like that the sides of it sloped side is open so that even when the handles goes you can still tuck so some things in there in. this yeah. is atomic berry pink those are the bright ones now just wait We'll show lavender first, because that always tends to be the biggest one. I love this one. So pretty. It is a true lavender. It leans blue, but it is very soft. Uh, they call it lilac. Um, this, this is recycled plastic, sorry, designed in the UK, made in Thailand. Uh, you can wipe it clean with a wet towel. You could hose it down. That's what I was thinking. Just hose it down. <laughs> I'm going to put these right here so we can show all the colors. And if you, like some of us, spill your coffee, you can easily just oh my God, I spill wash my it out. All the time. All right, so we have that. Okay, we'll put lilac here. Then we have this really pretty. 
They call this, I mean, to me, it's more aqua, sea foam. but they call it sea foam. But it is definitely in that family. You can see next to the lilac, it leans blue more than it leans green. Um, how many of you, what color was the one you had in high school? For me, it was clear. Oh. Unexpected. So you can see through it, right? Clear shoes. I mean, I do remember the shoes, but I don't remember the bags. Mm. I thought I was drinking hot coffee. It's cold. Oh dear! Surprise. Mm. Teresa white. had white. They did have white ones, but I wasn't sure people would want white, so I didn't get white. I did all the colors. Okay, I love this one. This they call olive. I'm gonna tell you sage green. Ooh, Kathy Delgado had glare and, clear and oh, glittery. That's, awesome. that's what my shoes were. My shoes were clear and glittery. Oh, well, Eileen was Eileen clear was also. clear. Nice. Uh, what I like about these, they're very tall. It's a really nice size on this. Um, this is a brand new design. So this is a tribute to the golden era of the 50s. Um, this is the actual design is pulled from uh, the iconic Shamrock Neatway Shopper. So that the way that it folds up, it doesn't take up too much room, flat base. This is a very comfortable handle. I used one at the trade show. Very easy to hold on to um, and really so cute. Couldn't you think you put a beach towel in there and mm -hmm. then put your kids like candy and stuff in there? Oh yeah, that'd be fun. Hide them in the house. Good Easter basket for hunting eggs, too. I think so. And like I said, we are going to ship uh, everywhere for those. Okay, next we have rosebud pink. Everyone likes nice pink. Okay, look at how cute their tags are, too. I just think everything about them is oh, so is cute. cute. I think this, if you're a new mom, this would be cute to have in your car that you just have, like, an emergency, right? Yeah. Diapers, wipe. A bottle, a little powdered formula, a couple outfits. So that it's always sitting there. And last but not least, they call this neon orange. But I'm going to tell you, it's coral. I'm going to change it on the website because it's definitely coral. This is the translucent one. You can see this one's solid. Um, this is the only one that we got that had that translucent look. Under $35. And they want to be tagged in their stuff. So if you're using them, tag hashtag nice. sun jellies. So just the cutest little couple. We got some people that like that one. I love these ones. Um, it's very let's fun. see. Launched in 2012, Kelly and Nick from England South Coast. They both worked at the trade show. I really loved it. It's a family affair. Nice. Yeah. With Nick's father and sister joining the team. That is so cute. I'll leave this one here. Oh, which one should I leave? The hot pink. Hot pink or black. I do like the classicness of the black. Okay. I mean, hot pink for sure. Do All right. Any, you like coral. Do you also like orange? Yeah, I do love coral. I just like mm, really fun colors. Okay. So next in the lineup, we are talking about, you guys know, I use it every morning when I get up here, Naked Bee. We got in a brand new, um, lots of new colors, new sizes, new scents. And we are just gonna talk uh, briefly about what we have in this. Naked Bee is made in the US. All of the good stuff, none of the bad. Um, normally, unscented is not a popular color, but I think for us, Lots of people like the unscented. I definitely have a preference in my colors and it is not the unscented. Let me, there you go. I, you'll be able to change your link maybe. So the smaller one is 2.25. That means that you can bring it on your airplane with no problem. You do have to put it in your bag. And here's the thing, I don't always put everything in my bag. I just try and let it slide through. How, I just want to, I'd rather ask forgiveness. 
I do put some things in a bag and the rest I just slide it through. So this is the unscented 2.25 uh, ounces. It's made with, each one is slightly different, but certified organic aloe vera sunflower oil. It helps restore and heal and promote healthy skin. Glycerin uh, works to create soft, subtle skin while retaining skin's moisture. Um, the unscented has hyaluronic acid. Everyone knows about that. Spirulina that conditions and detoxifies and certified organic honey. All the good stuff, none of the bad. No alcohol, no pro propylene, glycol, gluten-free, good gravy. <laughs> no dyes or pigments, no mineral oil, no EDTA and cruelty-free. All right, in the unscented, we have the smaller one, which is travel size, and then the eight ounce pump. I love the pumps because it's just easier on my hands. We do have samples here in the store if you wanna come in, uh, try it, see which one you like. This is always a really popular one for us. This is coconut, uh, coconut and honey. So a little bit about this one. Aloe vera, sunflower oil, honey, hyaluronic spirulina. And then again, the eight ounce size. This is the one that I use every day. This is the Serious Hand Repair Cream with Ceramide 3. It's a little bit extra um, moisturizing. Ceramide 3 is effective in aiding your skin's water retention, moisture burial, and cell balance. Glycerin, shea and coconut butter, Borage oil creates a protective barrier and combats dryness. pH balance, hypoallergenic, non-caminogenic. All right, so we have two. This, the small one is gently scented. Now they've gone to a bigger bottle. So this is their new size, $2 more than this size. Can you imagine that? Four ounces more for $2. So not, they're slowly making their way. This is their number one scent. It is orange blossom and honey. How many people have used the orange blossom? Ooh, lots of people have used this. Coconut, uh, Teresa says coconut always reminds you of the, yes, of course. Kathy Delgado favorite lotion. Um, this one just really has a really pretty orange scent. We have the very big one, which again, we've said they've um, switched from the eight ounce to the 12 ounce, four ounces more for only $2 more. And here's the thing with knitting, knitting takes away the moisture out of your hands. It's the fiber sucks it up. So you should always, before you knit, just have a little bit of this in your knitting bag. And then you put some on and just keep rubbing it in. Mm, Kathy says she keeps some next to her when she knits. Mm. Okay, this is my favorite. This is grapefruit blossom and honey. It is a very delicate scent. And then we also have the hand one. We have one of their new ones in the big bottle. This is vanilla, rose, and honey. Uh, here's what we like about them. It's got really nice hydration, but it absorbs quickly into a non-greasy formula. So there's not a, a transfer of it. Uh, the rose one, I love this. Each one's a little bit different. This one has beeswax and rose water. Hmm. Honey, spirulina, Hyaluronic acid, rose water, beeswax, organic aloe, and sunflower. And then we've got some little ones, jasmine and honey. That one smells really good. And last but not least, if you like more of a sandalwood Indian masala blend, there is a nag champa, which is really, really nice. Uh, we are shipping daily. We are uh, caught, I mean, we're, we're caught, caught up. up. I mean, normally we are caught up, but we are still uh, just, if we're not, we always tell you guys, it'll maybe we're a day behind, but honestly, that hasn't happened in quite a while. But everything's caught up, packages ready to go out. 
So definitely time to order before Easter or spring or anything like that. Ooh, Nag Champa is really good. Good morning, Kongi. Oh, from what, Las Vegas? I was just there. All right. I'm excited about this last prize. This is a present. It's something I got at the trade show. Um, I'm always looking for jewelry that is fun, but not crazy expensive. This I'm calling chain link. It is actually pretty wide. I'm in love with all the magnets that we're getting. I meant to write it. This is one that I only have six of, less than an inch and a half wide. And I wanna show you guys, I just think it's so cute. Flip it over and it just automatically clicks into place. How cute is that? Very cute. Very trendy, uh, um, the metal, the chains, very on trend. I love really strong earth magnets, so it's not just gonna clip off. Um, what it is, is it has basically a chains in the middle and then a box chain on the edges. And I like layering them. I did take off my other bracelets um, just for, to show you guys this but we do have a few of these. I think Susan's got the link. I will post the other link to show you. I like costume jewelry. I like mixing it with my nice jewelry. So then it looks like my nice jewelry isn't nice jewelry when I'm traveling. Do you see what uh, I mean? Yes. It's almost like you dumb down your jewelry. Didn't we call it chain link? Chain mail. Chain mail. Oh, no wonder. I like that it's almost like a antiqued look. There we go. Under $25, it is a steal. But that's what I love about the trade show. Sometimes they have the um, really good stuff at such a good deal. Uh, here we go, raining in New York too. Wow. Mm. So that's it, this is chain mail. Um, I have about a six and a half inch wrist. This is actually pretty big. Let me measure for those of you. We'll have to write that on there. So if we measure from here to here, it's about seven and a half inches. I just think it's fun for concerts. I don't know about you guys, but I love 80s concerts because I dress ways I would never dress <laughs> in real life. But I love like layering, I'll wear fishnets and combat boots and oh, I'm waiting for my favorite band to be on concert again. They are gonna be in San Francisco and I'm gonna be at a trade show. Oh, oh damn it. So if anyone likes Violet Femmes, they're gonna be in San Francisco. Uh, the beginning, the end of April, beginning of May. Someone needs to go in my stead. All right, let's talk about classes. Susan's got some really fun classes coming up. Um, let's see, ooh, we've got some goodies. Pretty Petals is up first. That is a two session class on the 19th, Tuesday the 19th of March and the 26th of March. Um, very fun. You want to use a worsted weight, either something that is a gradient where it slowly changes colors or you want a solid. It's going to look the best to do it out of those. I'm going to teach you all the tricks of changing markers. It is a really fun project. I love it out of Noro. I just think Noro is a great use for this one project. All right. Next in the lineup, I have Persian tiles, which is Saturday for all my peeps who are taking this year long class, which is super fun. Uh, that is, gosh, I don't know if we're on like month seven or eight. Six. Six, oh, it seems way longer than that. It seems like I've been doing this forever, but we're getting to the nitty gritty of the finish of this octagon, and then we're gonna work on the other ones. Really fun, fun, fun. Okay, next in the lineup, we have the Saturday Shrug. Uh, for those of you who asked for a Zoom class, um, that is March 30th. It is a one hour class. Uh, you do wanna use bulky yarn. We found the um, worsted, it's just not big enough for it. 
um, and what they were doing double stranded worsted. That would have been nice to know. So anyway, very fun. This is one that I'm working on. It's really exciting. I am going to teach the tubular cast on for those who want to. I'm just going to say you may love it, you may hate it, and you don't have to do it. But I want to give that option to this. All right. Oh, we skipped around because you I have your blocking yeah, I don't class think I put on, it on there. there. Susan is teaching her secrets to blocking in-person class. It is limited to four people. It is a one hour, $20 class. And the beauty is you are bringing a project that you have that needs to be blocked. You're gonna be bringing your own blocking mats to fit your project, T-pins, blocking wires, everything is available at the store and a wash bin, no rinse, wool wash and at least two bath towels. What you're gonna do is you are gonna block it here. We're gonna leave it here till Tuesday. And then if you are not here, we will un, uh, unpin it and get it ready for you to go. That is a steal to learn the basics of blocking from Susan. What do you have to say about that? It's going to be super fun. It is. It's fun. Yeah. Seeing, yeah. Having people see what blocking actually does for them. Okay. I talked about Saturday shrug. Then we have sunset kisses, which we had to move. That is Tuesday, April 2nd. This is one of our newer patterns on DK weight yarn. We did use um, for mine originally Cosette, but any of the DK linen would be amazing right now. That would be really nice. And making its way across the world are our new Ooh, linen that's colors. right. So I'm really excited very about exciting. those. I think that is, is that it? I, I think, think so. so. Oh, date night. I did oh. not forget. Date night is such an amazing class for people. You don't have to do it out of beaded silk and sequins. Linen would be gorgeous and really affordable, especially in our Linen Whisper. Is it Linen Whisper? Yeah. Okay, yeah. sorry. I keep, I was like, <laughs> Linen Whisper? I know, right? Really, really nice. We've had some people do beaded silk and sequins at the top and then Linen Whisper. But if you're looking for a really fun, casual top for the summer, the Linen Whisper would absolutely be amazing. It is a two session, two hour class via Zoom. And I'm just gonna say you just have to be a confident beginner and you're only your pre-work. You wanna look at the website. You do have to do your gauge because I did not gauge this and I ended up having to use two more skeins of beaded silk and sequins, which was a lot more money. But I still love it and mine's still a little bit like you have to be super confident. It is fitted, 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 fitted. Um, my next one, I want a little bit more ease in that one. So those are the classes that we currently have on our schedule. Lots of fun things. Trish says, and size up. So what do you think? Cause Trish, you made it. You're saying give yourself more positive ease because I agree with that. My linen one, I'm not like I normally do a 42. I'm probably going to do a 44. Now, linen does relax when you wear it, so there is that in it. Um, I will show you. What am I wearing? This is the Olivia Cowl. It is a bias knit project. I think one of the best well-written patterns. There's I-cord at the edges, and I just think it's so well-written. It tells you exactly what to do. You're do you have a 36 bust, and you're doing a large like what is that let me see let me look up date night let me show you guys the tag while she's finding that one olivia cowell we used uh, cumulus rainbow for our version but we have also i think it's somewhere in rios as well mm -hmm. we had it no in uh, anzulis yeah so it's just got a seam right there I, okay, so here's, I want to show you for those of you guys that are going to be doing it. Here's the finished measurement, right? So my finished measurement would be a 42. I'm sure that's what I did on my silk, but I didn't get gauge. This next time I'm going to do, I will end up knitting probably a 48 for just a little bit more comfort on it. But you do want yarn that has really good drape. Alpaca, silk, cashmere, linen, cotton, bamboo. Something super drapey and stretchable. Oh, 
Nancy, you need date night. You would love it. And it, the um, lace seems intimidating, but really when you get up and get going, it is not right. Okay, so Trish is doing a 42. Yeah, I did do a 42 on mine, and it, I mean, when I say it's fitted, I'm definitely it's, wearing Spanx. It's negative ease. It is definitely negative ease. I was not re-knitting that. I was like, that is as good as it's going to get, and I'm fine with that. This one is Parisian Serenity out of three colors of Merino Cloud. Lots of different stitch patterns. We've been teaching this in our machine knitting class. Yeah. Definitely easier to hand knit it, but good. Um, you learn a lot on this one. It's really windy out there now. And we've got some buttons here so it can be convertible. You should take this on your trip. I know, it would be right? nice. I'm trying yeah. to really, I mean, you guys, I'm already kind of advanced packing. Wow. You're yes. on the ball this time. Because at the last minute, I end up just throwing shit in my yeah, bag. Okay. So I'm like, okay, I really want to be, I want to leave room to buy things. And when you, as you're on your way there, you're like, what did I forget? Oh yeah. I do that when I drive to Fresno. I'll leave super early in the morning and about Lodi, I'm like, what did I forget? Well, I'm not going back now. No, I can always <laughs> buy it. That's my whole thing. Yeah. I can buy anything I need. All right, my friends, we will see you soon. Um, I will be doing videos all the way through Tuesday. I leave Wednesday, and I'm so excited to bring you on my trip. If you are not part of the collective, go to there. That is where you're going to see. I'm going to share everything. And for those of you who uh, were part of the journey last year, you know the amazing displays. And guess, who's, guess who I'm meeting up with? Gilda. Nice. So very fun. Um, I don't know if Jill has ever even been to Germany, but I'm excited. Mm. Uh, I'm sure she's going to be dressed so warm where I'm like, ah, I'll have a jacket. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be outside too much. So goodbye, my friends. I will see you soon. Have an amazing day. We're packing your orders right now. Bye-bye.